Okay, let's continue with the globalization and the Indian economy. As already we have discussed about the globalization, to come to the main contents. How Indian market have transformed and what is globalization? First of all, how Indian market have transformed? Earlier also we have discussed that how the Indian people are getting wide choice due to this MNCs, multinational companies, this wide transformation of our market. What is globalization? Already this thing also we have discussed that globalization is a process where countries to countries are getting business or companies are companies. Company One company from this our country to other company we are getting business, we are doing businesses. Then the history of international trade. This is a huge subject or huge topic history of international trade earlier time we don't have much kind of transportation but then also we are doing the trade through the waterways on that particular time people are traveling across the ocean to selling their goods to purchasing some new thing okay then how mns is spread production these things also very common that mns is mainly the multinational corporate corporation or companies if more multinational companies are coming in your country so you will get first of all you will get or people will get the employment first thing is that employment will increase and people are getting wide variety of choice next foreign trade foreign trade is very useful for the countries and the companies as well as why because through the foreign trade we are getting the foreign currencies that is going to be useful for our country next factors that have enabled globalization we have to think about the, what all the factors are behind about the globalization maybe some reasons are behind that due to that people are involved in that or they are getting more benefit that's why they are doing it so what all the factors are that we that we have to look on it next wto then impact of globalization and the, finally the struggle for fair globalization next how indian markets have been transformed so how our markets are transforming that we have to look on it all international brands sell their consumer goods in india okay so what all the international brands are doing it they are selling their goods in india okay and they are selling their branded products in india as a result cons consumer have a wide choice this is very good for us because due to that international companies we are getting a wide variety of choice this is because possible uh, possible only to a globalization agar globalization nahi hota to ye sab possible hi nahi tha but it is it was not the same to same 30 years ago only few brands are available to the customer 30 saal pehle kya hota tha aapke paas mein bahut hi limited choice tha for example if you are seeing this picture consumer market in india before globalization globalization se pehle kaisa market hua karta tha ye aapko ek explain karne ke liye picture diya hua hai earlier you can see that People are using Bajaj scooters, ambassador car, bicycle, black and white TV, and Rajdoot bike. Okay, these are the few materials or the things, equipments we are using. But what about nowadays? If you are seeing this picture now, consumer brands in India after globalization. So, this kind of wide varieties of products or brands or models we are getting it now because of only our globalization clear next what is globalization globalization is a process of rapid integration of interconnection between countries so it is a rapid process rapid process means it is very fast process due to that people are connecting from each corner of the world to another corner of the world next is multinational cooperation main force behind globalization is that MNCs is a company that owns or control production in more than one country. It's not only sell the finished product globally, the goods and services are produced also globally. They are not only selling their goods, they are giving their services, they are giving the employment to the people. This is done to reduce the cost of production and earn greater profit. Okay, next. Production is divided in small part across the globe to gain advantage for this closeness to the market, cheap labor and raw material. What do you think? Why these companies are uh, making their factories in across the world? Because, for example, a car maker is closer to a rubber factory, so easily they can getting all the rubber material, including the tires and all and some other. 
if uh, accessories companies are closer to a automobile company so uh, iska benefit kya ho sakta hai so the accessories they will they can provide to the automobiles the mnc's may save around 50 to 60% in production and increase profit so this way what the mnc's they are doing they are decreasing the expenditure okay and increasing their profit around 60 50 to 60% so can you imagine that now how mnc spread production spreading production for nokia mobile this is an example okay technology deliv- developing development in usa so technological developments are done in usa then headquarter and control from finland assemble in india and china hardware in china software by microsoft in india and usa this is the way how the mncs are working okay now next is this is another example of an mnc the name of mnc is uh, very familiar first one they have given here the apple started by steve jobs and his friends in 1976 american mnc next coca cola established in the year 1886 then the nestle switzerland based food company these are the few companies names i have mentioned in this ppt i hope you will understand about that these are the logos and the company names example of the mnc's lg coca cola microsoft apple google amazon nike so on okay at the last thank you for seeing this video